Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a delightful spring morning at Saint Germain des Prés. Uh, I've just woken up from the most refreshing sleep. It was absolutely delightful. We spent a fantastic weekend with friends at the Chateau de la Lande, and you will see a bit of that later, but we were having so much fun, we hardly vlogged at all. So you can always go over to the Chateau Diaries and check them out, and all of our other vloggy friends were there too, so we're pretty excited. Anyway, that was a very fun weekend, and so we got home and a little tired, and I used my Aura Health app to ensure that I got an extra good sleep last night. Aura is the new all-in-one app for mental wellness and sleep that provides the world's largest mental wellness content library and community. Aura has won a Best of Apple, and over 7 million people choose Aura to find peace daily. I wanted to give you a little update on how things are going with the Aura Health app. I'm still using it, and I am still finding it really helpful for my occasional lack of sleep, uh, otherwise known as insomnia. And I'm enjoying it so much that I've actually started investigating even more sections of the app, uh, including the mindfulness section. Obviously, there's always a lot going on at the Chateau. As you'll see, we're decorating. We've got trees coming down. You can see a bit of that in the park later on. We're off visiting friends. We're developing the business. So it's easy to lose track of the wonderful lifestyle that we live here. And I'm finding that the mindfulness section of Aura is helping bring me back to myself and have those real moments of joy. So, all that to say, here's a little bit more about the Aura Health app that I hope you click on the link and enjoy it as well. Aura offers the most extensive selection of mindfulness meditations, stories, sleep tracks, life coaching, cognitive behavioral therapy, breath work, hypnosis, spirituality and prayer, and much more. One of the things I really like about Aura is that it's not one size fits all. You can customize it to your needs and approach the things that you might need a little help with from different angles. You can be very analytical, which is kind of the way I roll. You can be a lot more spiritual. You can be any sort of sliding scale in between. It's really personalizable, which I think should be super helpful to a lot of people. Get started for free on Aura's website using my link in the description. The first 500 people get a free trial and an exclusive 25% off. So last week, we left you a very subtle hint or six about the color that we were going to be choosing for the upstairs bedroom. Thanks again to everyone for being a great community and let's get on with painting the bedroom. All right, so this is the moment of truth. <laughs> Color reveal for the walls in here. Oh, oh, that was... oh that's really, <laughs> that is extra. Okay, that is brighter. Than I thought, because it's supposed to be. Yeah. I'm I'm inspired by the Georgians on this. Yes. And Steve, you can you know tell me I'm wrong later, but um, I'm curious to get this up on the wall because right now it's very mustardy. <laughs> it's bright, but I think it's it's got the right tone. You know, I, I I'll be curious to see when it goes on. Like I said, some of you are gonna love it. Some are yours, or not. But, uh, I might be one of the ones. Yeah, I don't I think she's like, oh. Ah, see those? Okay. And you see with that, I actually think that's going to look really good. Okay, I'm going to try a little cutting in. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's going to be interesting. It'll be bold, and it is going to be bold, but... I kind of like it. Oh gosh. You sound a little apprehensive. I am a little apprehensive. But I do this every time I pick a bright color. I did it downstairs in the dining room. Yes. And I love that color now. Exactly. And once I did, someone was asking about a bright raspberry, and I, I did that in the dining room once before I knew you, and I absolutely loved that color. But when it went on the wall, it was like a super bright fuchsia. It was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you, those who knew me in just after college, actually, I had an apartment in Scarborough, and I painted the entire living room craft dinner yellow. Oh, jeez. Which was a lot brighter than that, I can tell you. It's not quite coming off on, on the camera as, as you see it on the wall. Um, yeah, look, it's looking much more brown or green. Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, trust me, it is not 
It is not as pukey as it looks on yeah. the film. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really quite nice in the end. All right. So yeah, well, we'll, we'll maybe we'll do a wall and see whether you're happy with it. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. See it in the light for a bit. We'll we'll see what happens when it dries and and obviously a couple of cokes and that sort of thing. But wow. there you go. There's your reveal color, guys. <laughs> it is bright, bright yellow. Reserve it. Still reserve it by right to change my mind. Exactly. It's just paint. Paint can be changed. But we have a plan. There's other there's other parts to this plan than just the paint. So yeah. you know we'll uh, we'll reveal all. Yeah. It's actually the color I wanted in the end. Yeah, I like I said, I just needed to, needed to see a big, nice mix. Yep. And I think after a second coat, it's going to look great. I think so. Yeah. It's friendly, it's happy, it's warm. It's Georgian. It's Georgian, yeah. <laughs> the trend. Yep. Gorgeous. Very happy. Good. We are back to one of our our favorite friends, Chateau. This is uh, Chateau de Lalande. You might know them from many of you will know. Yeah, yeah exactly from uh, Chateau Diaries. But yeah, we've um, we've been invited for a fabulous weekend with a whole bunch of our Chateau only friends. That sounds very snotty, but it really it's it's just a good time with friends, um, with some good food and uh, and good conversation. Yeah. yeah, and solving some shared problems. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, because we all we all have the same problems. So yeah, you know, it's good to to be able to chat it out with people who uh, understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be a good weekend. Looking forward to it. Should be amazing. How many? There is no. 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 So come on, one more time this morning. Are we the luckiest ducks? Absolutely. All of our friends around us? We are. Well, maybe not all. Some of our friends around us. Lots of nice friends around us. Let's go that way. Yeah. Well, hello. Oh, What is that you got there? <laughs> well, uh, I believe your friend Clarence has given me another gift. Not only did she give me the most beautiful Italian racing sewing machine <laughs> that I've ever seen, but she has kindly bequested her grandmother's sewing dress. Is that correct? I think so. It is so beautiful. It's got this really fine tulle um, uh, veil. And then the dress itself is all lace and it's got this beautiful tulle ruffle. And to me, it's got like late 30s, early 40s vibes. And it's just so pretty. So thank you, gentlemen. And thank you, Florence. And we shall have an absolute blast with this. Fantastic. Think of the set. Oh, 
So this is for your um, dining room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, wait, wait, we're just looking for something with better color, but it also has all of the, all of the... It would depend on the price, because it's not the best quality. 40 euros for the whole Transfer set. Transfer one. It just sort of stops, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I'll just do Having said that, 40 euros for the entire set, as if you've got, if you've got guests around, it's quite nice to really yeah. change the table. That's what we're thinking. Different feel. Exactly. So that, I think, is... Bye, everybody! <laughs> Dexter, what's happening? Can you give me a roo roo? No. No. Roo roo. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Really quick introduction. This is Gavin and Ben, and they are the arborists come to look after our tree. So um, a lot of the viewers will be familiar with Nick from the lawn and suggested we get a Nick. So welcome, Gavin. And if we call you Nick, you know why. Oh, it's called Wash. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just doing a walk around to talk about the plan for the week and a bit. And we're going to start with this horse chestnut that has um, died. And it's hard. Go ahead. Gavin, would you mind talking really quickly about what the risks are to this particular tree? <coughs> what you're seeing? And so with this one, we've got something called ground heat, where as a tree leans, the root plate lifts and the ground you can see the ground bulging um and, and that's basically a sign that it's starting to come over okay. the fact that we've probably got a good seven to ten degree lean coming this way so, so that it is although it's healthy it's got growth on it it's not stable okay um and we learned from uh monsieur bajard the when we did the forestry walk that this the ground that we're on yeah. The, basically the bedrock around here doesn't really support tall trees very no, well. No, it's what I call rotten granite. It's, it's like a sandstone, a flaky sandstone. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the drill root and roots can bore into it, but the rock just cracks. So it it's, it's not as strong. And also the soil you've got here is very loamy. Um, so yeah, it, it's not really... Yeah. It is not designed to support massive trees like this. Even though it is doing, and it yeah. clearly is doing, you get this ground heave here. Right. The risks get get higher the bigger it gets is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, so I mean the fact that, you know, from here, it's really, so you can see how the ground's starting to come up. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that can make a bang when it hits the floor. Yeah. Um, again, you know, just in a pile here. I think we might need to take this one out. Yeah, I think that's going to come down anyway if you... Only because I don't want this to come down, land on top of this... And slide. And then slide down it. Right. Because somebody's going to get a tree in the face. <laughs> yeah, that happens. But, uh... And that, 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 that's ground keep that. Yeah. yeah. It's a plumb example of ground heat. Yeah, I'm not an arborist, but even I can see that. Yeah, and that's what's starting to happen with the large one over there. Right. Easy peasy. Huh? Easy peasy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the dead one, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the right one. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly, clearly dead. Got a bit of a hole in it, does it? As you can see, we've probably got some nesting down here somewhere. Oh, really? Probably a Loire. A which now? A Loire. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? Edible dormouse, like mini miniature squirrels. Oh, okay. They're not nesting now, but there is an old nest in there, you can see it. There's an not far away from there we are. Oh, hello friends. Glad you're not in there now. Not in there now. Yeah. I mean, we've cut into trees and we've had them running out. Oh gosh. Yeah. That, <laughs> that must be that disconcerting. Lake. We cut into a tree at a lake and we're like, 
That was a massive hollow there. He tipped it up and a rat just shot out. <laughs> Doesn't smell healthy, let's just say that. It's not a normal hobby to have sniffing logs. <laughs> I sniff logs, it's what I do, mate. <laughs> sniffing logs makes me happy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ben's like, get out of my way, I'm hauling logs, Matt. Oh my gosh. Live hornet's nest. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we did see a um, stream coming in and out of there last year. Um, they're dormant, thankfully. It is. Yeah. That, that's a big nest, though, that is. Yeah. Yeah, well, that would explain the highway of hornets we had last year. There you go. Oh my gosh. There's something about that shape. You see it? it yeah. Oh, stay away. My gosh, that they did some uh, work though, didn't they? Holy cow! No, they, they wouldn't have done that. They no, they they it. would have um, moved in, did they? Yeah, they would have colonised the hollow. Yeah, yeah, the hollow would have already been there. They, the hornets okay. wouldn't have done it. on it yeah um it was kind of inevitable we, we strapped it yeah uh, so the barber chair won't go all the way up right so we stopped the barber chair at about a meter high but it was the only way really we could do it without it taking out everything into the lime trees yeah, yeah fair enough so a bit of a messy fell but hey it went went where you it wanted really, to it went where it wanted it to go so i'm happy with that fantastic And uh, we've cleared a path for the Scots pine at the back. Okay. So the one that was heavily leaning, yeah. that's, that's out now, that's gone. Oh, it's gone down? Yeah. All right, I was just coming over to ask when that was coming down, so, all right. About 20 minutes ago. All right, good to know, <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, so now it's just the Mark one that's leaning over the barn. Okay. Uh, but I'll wait, because I need to get a truck up there to clear a path for the chipper. Okay. And um, I need to get the hydraulics and the winches to pull the, pull the tree away from the barn. Okay. <sighs> Wow. But right now I'm in sugar and yeah. caffeine. And then your plan is to leave the, the two yeah, meter so the, segments. The, the two meter lengths, we're just going to leave there for now. Yep. And then when we come back to fell the big one, uh, we're going to lay that on the ground in its path so it suspends the trunk off the ground. Nice. It just makes it a lot easier to process and cut. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it lifts the tree off the ground so that we're not digging our chains into the dirt and right. trashing exactly. our chains and pinching the chains. Very clever.
That was pretty. Well done. Well done. That was really, really impressive. I'm, I'm in awe. Straight wings before. Yeah. Just case push a button. Oh man, that looked like some like that looked like literally like you were pulling the tree over yourself. You know, like I know there's some physics there, but man, that was impressive. Well done. I am going to harvest some of the pine cones and maybe someday we can replant and start a new little tradition.